Hi, it's Joe from Gay Wheels, and I'm here in a very steamy Nashville, Tennessee, with the latest vehicle from Mini. It's the 2008 Mini Cooper Clubman. And as you can see, it's a little bit longer than the standard Mini that you've seen on the road. And in fact, it's 10 inches longer than the standard Mini Cooper. And that's a true 10 inches, boys and girls. Well, one might ask, why did Mini make a bigger Mini? It's a bit of an oxymoron, isn't it? Well, turns out a lot of you guys and girls out there love the way the Mini looked, love the way the Mini drive, but just wanted a little bit more size. Sound familiar? So the folks at Mini gave us the Mini Cooper Clubman. Added 2.5 inches in the rear seat, 10 inches overall, and kept the true character of what Mini's all about. Distinctive styling and a lot of fun to drive. So let's check it out. One of the easiest ways to figure out that this Mini is different is just look at the rear. Compared to the base Mini that has a hatch, this Mini has two barn style doors that open up like this and give you access to an additional 3.5 cubic feet of space behind the rear seat. Another very unique feature to the Mini Cooper Clubman is the fact that it has a third door. It's a suicide door that only opens when you open the front, but it gives very easy access to the rear seat. You open the front door, grab a handle, open the rear door, seat slides forward, really easy to get in. If you've ever gotten in and out of a Mini Cooper, you know that's a lot easier. Well, we all like a little bit extra length, right? The great thing about the Mini Cooper Clubman, that 10 extra inches gives you a lot more room in the back when the seats are fold down. If you've ever owned a Mini Cooper, you know it's pretty versatile with even that small hatch with the seats fold down. This gives you that much extra room for all those shopping and antiquing that you're gonna do. Easily goes back up, becomes a four passenger vehicle. Another great feature of the Mini Cooper Clubman is a very large sunroof. It's optional, but if you're going to get one of these cars, I highly recommend it. When all said and done, the Mini Cooper Clubman is a very unique vehicle. It looks great, looks like nothing else on the road. But at the end of the day, the car is really about fun to drive. Now this car has 118 horsepower, 1.6 liter, four cylinder. Doesn't sound like a lot, but you remember, we're talking about a small, light car. So I'll see what I can do to give you uh, the experience of being a passenger in the Mini Cooper Clubman. Hold on. From the more practical base model to the Thrill a Minute S, and with virtually every conceivable option under the sun available, the Mini Clubman can be ordered to suit virtually any driver. The Cooper Clubman starts at $19,950, while the Cooper S Clubman lists for $23,450. Not bad. The base model Clubman gets 28 in the city, 37 on the highway, 
with the manual transmission and the automatic gets 2634. If you opt for the S, you still get 26 in the city and 34 on the highway with the manual and not a 23 city 32 with the automatic. Remember, check out GayWheels.com for more information on the Mini Cooper Clubman and every other car sold in the U.S. Thanks.